Hi there, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, we're here again with a new hairstyle. Uh, facial hair is the same because I, uh, I got quite attached to the, uh, the goatee or it has become quite attached to me, shall we say. Uh, but we're going to dive straight in for another quote out of book two and see how you like it and then we'll discuss it shortly. So excuse the glasses, let's crack straight on. Uh, he continued to point at the image and even though Brodie couldn't see him do it, he knew the area well. Obviously, you know your own tattoos and markings, but it would not take a brilliant mind to concoct a link from what has happened to you over the past 18 months here and those representations. Tell me again, what were they originally meant to depict? Cubert asked in a tone that now worried Brody. He dropped back to his knees. The big chief was now sitting cross-legged, leaning surprisingly casually against the courtyard wall. Mmm, juicy fruit. Brody had drifted and spoke without thinking. What? Cubert was totally confused. Uh, nothing, uh, sorry. Uh, they were originally just my own personal in interpretations of songs of a band of musicians that I liked. I'm not going to go any further with that. But I want to just explain something, because I don't explain it in the book, I'm hoping that people will suss it themselves, is when he sits down to talk about the uh, markings, because uh, without going into too much detail, Cubert has noticed something on his tattoos uh, that is sort of telling the story of what's going on, and he's, he's uh, trying to draw comparisons between what's happened and what's actually depicted on uh, Brody's tattoos. But when he sits down and leans against the wall... Brody once again drifts into this TV and film mode and he sits next to him and says, mmm, juicy fruit, and then doesn't explain what he meant. And obviously, Cubert has no idea what he's talking about. Now, I can virtually guarantee that probably 50% of the people reading the book and probably some of you that are listening to this now will still not have any idea what that means. Now, if you've ever watched the film uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, you'll get the reference. Because the great, uh, the late great Will Sampson, who played the chief in uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, uses that very word when he first gives away the fact that he can talk. If you've watched the film, you'll know that uh, throughout the film you think that he's a mute and he's gone into some psychosomatic silence and never speaks. And then at one point he drops his guard and sits down and says, mmm, juicy fruit and gives away the fact that he can speak. So that's what that reference was all about. I thought it was quite funny. Uh, it's a deep reference. Some people will get it and some people won't. Uh, but it's not explained. So uh, take it for what it is. Sorry about the leaning forwards and glaring scarily into the camera. Uh, but yeah, I get quite excited about uh, talking about silly little nuances like that. So I'll give you some more next week. Hope you liked it. And if you did, go to www.edjpublishing.com and the book and all the vlogs and all the blogs is available there. Thanks very much. Speak to you next week. Bye-bye.